Hey folks, it's Jeremy aka Captain Subpar with a new unboxing video for you and oh my gosh guys as you can see you can't even see me in the frame yet because this box is massive. This is me next to the box, unbelievable. For those who do not know, not sure what this is, we're not unboxing toys, we're not you know looking at loot crates, we're not doing any of that nonsense, what we're doing today Son, daughter, folks out there, we are unboxing the Power Rangers role-playing game from Renegade Studios. Now you may be asking, what is the Morphin Master Bundle? Well, this game, it was a Kickstarter that uh, launched around, right around Power Morphicon last year. So it's been about a full year. Um, it actually launched like the day before PMC. And they've just been adding rewards, and I bought in for the whole thing. I got everything that was available, and there's more stuff coming. There's a bulk and skull bundle that is available now uh, that I that was picked up for me on my behalf that I'll be getting soon. On the back of that, they mentioned a Zeo expansion. So lots of good stuff coming from Renegade Studios, but I got it all. I want to open this box open for you and show you all the cool stuff in here. This is going to be fantastic. And obviously, you don't need all of this stuff to play the game. You know, there's there's tons of, there's expansions, there's bonuses that add to the experience. But you can always get the base game by itself. You know, so it just depends how much you want to pledge. I believe the pledge for everything was like, I'm going to say between like 150 and 200, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Someone can correct me. But let's see, oh, the bubble wrap, all oh, the bubble wrap, so much of the bubble wrap. Oh, the box is in here, unbelievable. Okay, so here's the first box I'm gonna pull out. I believe this is the base game. I'm not entirely sure, um, but oh, by the way, the artwork on all this, all this cool artwork is done by Dan Mora. He's uh, illustrated a lot of the Power Rangers comics from Boom Studios. He's a great, fantastic artist. And this is just more of the same. You've got this great Goldar on the box. Over here, you got Robo Goat. He was one of the uh, stretch goals. Here's Pumpkin Rapper. Ooh, you ranges make me mad. Playing a game that is not bad. Uh, Primitar, again, more of these were, these different monsters were stretch goals. And then on the back, you got the whole crew. Rita, Goldar, Finster, Squad, Babu, all that good stuff. And, and you're, you'll notice, like, there's, the Rangers are facing off with them. Just some cool, cool stuff. Um, I'm going to try to open each box one at a time. I think I'll, I'll, I'll just do a quick look inside. I don't know how in-depth we're going to go into every single box. But, oh my gosh, here we go. Opening it up. Getting that sweet plastic off. It's got kind of like this nice little bubble design on it too. I'm digging it. Ugh. Come on, Renegade Studios. Heroes of the Grid. Let's open up this bad boy. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right, there's the top. Popped it off. Oh, inside, slip some more good art. There's Ranger Slayer Kim. There's Jason with the with the dragon shield. There's a Tommy doing a punch. And of course it's I Guy. But yeah, okay, so all these are gonna be able to pop out. These are the different uh, battle arenas. Like there's the mall. There's a there's a dock. All these different just like they're all kind of popping out already, so I actually am gonna have to be able to throw all this extra cardboard away. Kind of unboxing as I go here but anyway so all these different areas they have uh, different numbers on it basically you put you put four of these together and they have different numbers based on like the level of threat the number of putties that can be there all that sort of stuff and then in here look at oh my gosh look at this all these putties uh, let's see what we got we got regular putties we got super putties uh, White Ranger Tommy, Scorpina, Evil Green Ranger Tommy, uh, Rita, Zed. Let's 
let's just see what else we got. Oh my gosh, look at all of this in here. All these these different layers and they're all taped together, so I gotta I gotta get through the layers. So I don't think this is the, I think this is an expansion, not the base game like I said earlier. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, here's some, here's a bunch of putties that are uh, these are Z putties. There's Tango Warriors. Just all this, just amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, here's some of the good bonus stuff. Okay. So we've got like Here's Ranger Slayer Kim. Here's the here's Tommy and Jason with the shield. And I'm just trying to find some highlights here for you. Some of my favorites. Obviously, the pumpkin wrapper. But yeah, this also includes like Robogoat, Alpha, uh, Wizard of Deception, Goldar, Eye Guy, Primitar, uh, Rhino Blaster, Finster. There's some tokens. And then these are all of your attack cards for your different monsters. See, there's Vinster on the back. There's a Wizard of Deception. It's just all these different cards. And then these are the playing cards. I'll just I'll look at some of them for you. So, for example, you've got White Ranger Tommy, Green Ranger, oh, Green Ranger Tommy. Let's see what else we got. Uh, here's a Jason. Kimberly, and then they have some of the regular rangers, but they're like the old school art. You know, the art from, that you would see in like all the coloring books and stuff like that. So very cool stuff like that. And then you've got Zord cards. Uh, there's the Grave Zord for Kim. So basically what it is is when you play, you, uh, you make your team, and you don't have to necessarily pick like, I want all the MMPR Rangers or anything. You can you can mix and match your team. You know you can use like I want the MMPR Rangers, but it's going to be Jason with the shield, or it's going to be Ranger Slayer Kim instead of regular Kim, stuff like that. So there's a lot of uh, variety, and each one has their own different powers and stuff like that. So there's a lot to put together into making your own team. Um, and like I said, you can just get the base game and just play with the core five Rangers if you want, and still have a lot of fun. And so like these are extra. Um, extra places because obviously some of the core places are going to be like Ernie's um the school and so these are extra ones like the quarry which or the power plant in case you've got a dragon sword that wants a snack stuff like that so anyway that's our base stuff I, um this is one of our, i think this is one of the bigger expansions not the base sorry i keep saying base um anyway i'll put that uh over for now let me set him down here for now um what else do we got in here Okay, this is a uh, this is a foot soldier pack. So basically, I don't need to open this one up, but it tells you on the back what it is. It's just extra foot soldiers. So if you wanna if you want um, just to expand your army, or if you're one of those that likes to just um, it just likes to display this stuff. So you've got you've got more putties, more super putties, more tangas, more z putties. But what you also have is. Um, you have the Mastodon Warriors. Basically, from the uh, Power Rangers comics, if you've seen it, it's they kind of look like if Rob Liefeld drew Zack. You can see them over here. You know, they got their big guns and all their pouches and everything, but they count as evil foot soldiers. So this is just extra of those. Again, another one of the kick, one of the uh, stretch goals. Probably one of the earlier ones, I think. So there's that. What else have we got in here? Okay, this is another expansion pack. Again, this is villain pack. So this one contains Rito Revolto, Master Vile, Commander Crayfish, and the Polluticorn. Another stretch goal. So when you're playing the game, you have to defeat a certain number of villains, and then you have to defeat a main villain. So basic, so you can pick like which ones are in, and you're randomly picking villains out of a pack. So you know, you could, you could, it just gives you more choices, you know, because each villain has their own powers, uh, different ways to deal damage, all that sort of stuff. So there's just a lot of different variety here, and hopefully they'll, they'll continue to release it, because it does say villain pack number one. So we should be getting more of those along the way. Uh, next up, I got some extra dice. These are just some cool, um, extra different colors of ranger dice, uh, translucence. So, and, so this is really just a, uh, this is more of like a vanity edition where you just want to want your stuff to look cooler. 
like even the green dice have gold on them instead of white so it really symbolizes hey that's a tommy just like and the white dice too too so you it's you can just get the different dice you want and so it's when you're rolling and you're playing a different ranger you can be like i got my rangers colors dice and that's a cool fun addition uh what do we got here ah this is one i want to open individually the Cyclopsis figure. Cyclops is one of the bigger, cooler looking uh, villains. Uh, and I just want to, and he was one of the bigger stretch goals that people were excited about. So I want to just see what Cyclopsis looks like. So this one will open. Because if I opened every single one and just showed you more Flood Soldiers, it would make this video like unbelievably long. But we can show you some good stuff. And again, it's just really nice how they've just got this cool Dan Moore artwork on all the different sides. Um, I think you can come with a little sheet here that basically just, okay, all right, this is what I got. Okay, so Cyclopsis, for anybody who ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, think that. See how Cy Cyclopsis is actually six different cards. I'm trying to just read out about this, so... Oh man, so slowly by surely you can just form Cyclopsis as just this big bad. That is extra cool. I am digging that. But yeah, let's look at Cyclopsis. He's got his cards as well, of course. False cards. But look at this unbelievable figure. Oh my gosh, it is massive. This is what makes me want to learn how to like paint figures because I've never painted figures for a board game before. But this thing, I mean, he's a good, what, seven, eight inches. Yeah, a good eight inch figure. That's just, wow, that is impressive. And I'm sorry if I'm sweating here a little bit too, guys, because it's, if you know, if you're watching this video, the entire country has been experiencing that heat wave where it's been like in the 90s for weeks now. So crazy, crazy stuff but man that is an awesome bonus figure right there that is a great stretch goal loving that all right and then to go along with cyclopses of course we have a deluxe megazord figure so i think this is just a um it's because i know during the game because we played uh we played this game at power morphicon last year when the kickstarter launched and one of the big keys of the game is is you're trying to get the pieces of the megazord you know, like every time you conquer a villain, you gain access to one of your Zords. And so once you've conquered five villains, you can gain access to the Megazord. So anyway, so it, it's, it's neat for playing the game because you don't need this figure. You just can put the card down and say, hey, I have the Megazord. But when you have the figure, it kind of adds an extra layer to it. Look at that. He's got the power sword that can go in the hand. Boom! Check that Megazord out. Lovely. And it's just this nice uh, matte color here, so you can really just go to town on it. Paint it the colors you want. Hey, you could be one of those weirdos, and you could paint it like all those odd variety toys, where it's like, here's my Megazord from the Nerdist, where it's all weird light blue colors. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, so that's just another cool stretch goal bonus. And it really does make these figures, like I said before, the type of thing you could just want to collect on your own and be like, look at that, I got, I got figures. You know, I don't even need to play a game if I don't want to, but granted, I'd recommend playing a game. Still lots of stuff in the, still one, two boxes left. Two big boxes left. Um, I think I'll start with the box on the bottom. Okay, forget what I said earlier. This is the main game. This is Heroes of the Grid. This is the box that you've been seeing everywhere. This was the promotional art when they first launched this thing. This gives you everything you need to play the base game. So if you just want to go out to the store, you'll probably be able to grab this at like a, at a hobby shop or whatever. You grab this box, you are good to go. Beyond that, you know, if you want to, go nuts. But what comes in this box basically? So you got five Ranger figures, you got their cards, you got their foot so you got 24 foot soldiers, that's pretty good. Um, deployment cards for them, four monsters, one main boss being Rita, um, dice, damage tokens, energy tokens, uh, the board itself, and Zord cards, tons and tons of cool stuff. Um, 
So let's open up this bad boy again with this sweet Dan Moore art. Look at that, you got Kimberly and Billy on the one side and then you got the peace conferencers on the other side. Great stuff. Ugh. So yeah, as you can see, if you want Tommy stuff, that does require buying expansions. So you've got the main rule book here, very nice. Nice little colored book. Gives you all the basic stuff you need to play the game. Uh, Renegade Studios put in their catalog of all their different games here. So they got just got tons and tons of games. If you want stuff besides Power Rangers. Um, and here's the order form, which basically shows you um, all the different expansions that are available. Everything on this box I have. And then a little advertisement for the comic books, which again, highly recommended. And then here's all your, you know, like I showed you before, all these little pieces that you need to put four together. And then, then this one comes with all your tokens as well. Um, let's see, and that's, that's your centerpiece of the command center. Little Megazord token. Industrial District, and if, yeah, Ernie's Juice Bar. There it is. Um, and this is like your main board where you uh, count, you know, as you're powering up. This is where your draw pile for all your Zords. Oh, and that's nice. They come with some baggies to put all your to put the uh, individual tokens in. Very nice. Let's see. First up is going to be, uh, these are just more, these are all the foot soldiers. You've seen all these before. These are just more of the same. And then here's your, uh, your ranger cards. There's Jason on the top, as you can see. And this is what you're gonna wanna get a look at. Okay, so here we have the five rangers, Rita Repulsa as your main villain. And then the four villains you fight along the way are Pudgy Pig, Madame Woe, Nasty Knight, and Bones. And then you can see them all here. I'll probably give you a little closer look of that at the end of the video. And then just have all the cards for the heroes and for the villains to attack. And as you can see, the dice that comes with it are just uh, white translucent with black on them. So having your individual ranger colored dice is a nice little bonus. So I'll pop this stuff back in for now. So I can go on to the last box. I'll get to that again at the end. But yes, our last box. Look at me throw this box. Oh, it's 3D coming at you. Out of the way. But yes, so this is our last box, the one a lot of people were excited for. This is the is the Shattered Grid expansion. So same base game, but you get to play as additional characters that were utilized in Shattered Grid. Just this amazing Draken art here. And you can see some of the uh, Hyperforce Rangers here on the sides. Very nice. Check them out there. Get that hyperforce action on. There's Jack, aka Bulk, Paul Schreier. This one's box a little smaller than the others, but cool nonetheless. Again, got the same sort of uh, advertisements in this bag. A uh, little introduction, <coughs> introduction sheet. Sorry. Uh, coffee and talking about Lord Draken and what's involved here. Oh, look at that! The centerpiece instead of being the command center, you've got a nice centerpiece. Of time force loving that and our additional pieces to play from are the Zord graveyard that's bleak and the resistance hideout very nice got the uh, shattered Macedon symbol okay so in this in this uh, set we've got more of those Macedon soldiers that I showed you some of we have uh, for let's see for villains. 
we have Draken, we have uh, Ranger Slayer, which is a nice cool thing. So you can actually use Ranger Slayer as a hero or a villain, which goes with the comics. And then we have, uh, I forgot the name of the uh, the Zord, is an evil Zord. I just, I just lost it and then off the top of my head. But additional characters. So you've got um, the five Hyper Force Rangers. Now they're, they're a team where uh, you've got, where red, yellow, and blue are male characters, black and pink are female characters. So you've got all those. And then you also have a couple, a little more female love because you have uh, Lauren, the Red Ranger from Samurai, and you have Jen, the Pink Ranger from Time Force. Which again goes with the comics. Those two played a major part in the Shattered Grid comics. And then of course you've got the cards. So if you're a fan of like Hyper Force or just Shattered Grid in general, this just adds another layer to the game, more characters to play as, to play against, all that sort of good stuff. So that's it guys. This is just so much stuff. So like I told you before, um sorry, still getting all sweaty and gross. But like I said, base game is all you really need to play. Um, but if you hey you play this game for a little while and you're like, you know what, I'm having fun, but I want a little more variety in my game, that's when you pick up the Shattered Grid expansion set. This other giant expansion set with Goldar on the cover. Of just tons and tons of good stuff in this box. Lots of extra villains. Or you get some more foot soldiers in case you just want to maybe you just maybe you want to just paint them different colors. Maybe you want some variety. Again, the dice add a little flair to your pack. Uh, the deluxe figures, just to add a little more uh, variety. All this sort of good stuff. Again, and there's more expansions coming along the way. They're going to hit more series. I know they've pulled fans saying, hey, what seasons do you want figures from? Do you want expansions from? So all that stuff is coming down the pipe. If you're not a big board game fan, you know what? This is a good way to get in. If you're a Power Rangers fan, you're like, I want to maybe try a board game. Good stuff. Uh, pretty simple game to learn. But you'll have a lot of fun with it. And again, Power Rangers fans, those are who's watching this video. Just so much stuff for you in here. And just some really cool, ultra detailed figures. Definitely worth the wait. Definitely worth kickstarting this project. So glad I, I was a part of this on the ground level. Got my Morphin Master bundle. And I'm going to be playing this game with my friends very, very soon. I hope you are as well. Again, thank you Hasbro, thank you Power Rangers, thank you Renegade Studios for making all this stuff happen. That is it for now guys, as far as I go with my videos, um, upcoming videos, still got Lightning Collection figures to unbox, still got Beast Morpher stuff to unbox, gonna have some more Ryu Soldier stuff coming to unbox, all that good stuff coming down the pipeline. But until then, as always, share this video with your friends and your family and your dog and your aunt and your uncle and your grandma, everybody you got out there, Pondra fans and not alike board game fans. But until next time, I am Jeremy, a.k.a. Captain Subpar, saying to you forever and always that I am going to be King of the Geeks. And I guess King of the Board Games now too, right? I mean, I guess that's something. So, all right, check this out. So these are our Shattered Grid guys. Here you go, there. See, some of them are upside down. But, um, you know, pretty cool digging those figures. Love that big old hammer, Jack Scott. And then for like the, the main set, you'll see, just look at all, all that goodness. Everybody's got their weapons out, just killing it. Great, great stuff. And hey, Madam Woe! Madam Woe! Everybody loves the Woe.